As you can see, we got some weird items like pineapple soda, some coconut water, things I haven't tried. But first up, we got some Pringles flavored like Wendy's Baconator. Only problem is we've never had Baconator before, so <laughs> gotta taste that first so we can do a little comparison. I thought the sauce would be a lot more dominant in flavor. It's a very meaty flavor you're tasting. The two burgers and the bacon way more than you're tasting any sauces or anything on here the chips are like super orange but in reality they are almost colorless like the regular Pringles but they got like some powder on it it's like a peach color almost I don't even they smell <laughs> I have to say this is the weirdest smelling chip huh I don't know Let's get an alternate opinion. It does smell like bacon. It's definitely got some bacon taste. I'd say it tastes like the bacon potato skin chips you get from Fridays. But there's a lot of bacon flavor in here. Not a ton of burger though. Lots of bacon and potato. Yeah, I could see bacon and potatoes. A little bit of an odd flavor, but something just gives it like a smoky vibe. But I'm crazy, so you never trust my opinion. All right. Got some coconut water. Oh, smells fruity like a pineapple or something. I don't know that it smells like coconut. Okay, it's completely clear. When it's coming out, it looks completely clear. There's a slight white tint. Not sure if that's because of the glass. It smells like peaches. Something. Mandarin orange. Mandarin oranges. However you say it. <laughs> Not a fan. Um, I'd say it tastes like the juice in the mandarin oranges can't. But like super watered down. It's fly. I'm not a... I just caught a fly in a cup. He was probably uh, interrupting the audio. Now I gotta figure out how to how to get him out of here. So yeah, Let's see if we can. <laughs> no. Oh wait, you can twist it. <laughs> <clears throat> Not as strong as I thought. I don't know if fizzy is the right word. There's a lot of like bubbles on your tongue. It's bubbling a lot. Pretty chill. I thought it would be like overwhelming, but you know. Yeah, it got a nice little fruity taste. Not super overwhelming or artificial. I thought <laughs> I was a little scared when I smelled it there, but pretty good. So apparently, this popcorn, you don't want to make it in your house because it smells horrible and very strong. First one we got is sriracha. I don't think it's supposed to. <coughs> oh boy. Dump a wall out so you can see. For the record, I have never had sriracha. I heard it does taste like it. Let's get one of these coated ones here. Like solid orange. Wow. A little bit of sting. Warning. Consuming this product can expose you to the chemical acrylamide and is known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive... I'd rate it a solid... 6.372 out of 10. Like there's an orange kind of sauce and then there's a tiny little specks, a spice of some kind. Like there's a little tiny dots all over the popcorn. Those taste kind of good, but if there's too much of the orange sauce, like that one, I'm guessing that's the sriracha. Not a huge fan. Ghost pepper popcorn. This one doesn't. 
really smell. <laughs> Let's try one that doesn't have too much stuff on it. It's very like buttery or something. I don't know if it's butter or what. I mean, I'm feeling a burn, but not the end of the world. No, I am pretty good at spices, so you can't say the same if you were to try and go get this, but not loving the flavor. Oh, that one burned. I don't know if it's just adding on, but whoa. Two servings per bag. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's chugging down a half bag of ghost pepper popcorn? If you want someone to move out of their house, just cook a couple of sriracha popcorns in there. <laughs> <clears throat>